I'm Rachel Christmas, but I used to be Rachel Sinclair and I was born in Tamora over 40 years ago now at our local hospital. Sinclair family is a family that's been in the district for a long time. So my great, great grandfather came here back in the 1880s and we settled out in the Kambanning area out southeast of town. And my family is still farming there now. So my brother runs the farm with his wife and they've got children. And my dad is still very active on the farm as well. So I've got a big connection with this area. I love my job. I love it. I can't imagine doing anything else. For, for a start, it suits me because I've got a short attention span and so I can just go from one thing to the next. <laughs> but I really enjoy interacting with people and the people who come through my door, I like to chat with them and find out about them and you know what makes them tick. I mean, obviously that's a small part of my consultation, but that's something that I get out of it is having a commun some communication with my patient as people. I have anything from delivering babies to assisting in an operating theatre, to teaching new doctors and medical students, to counselling patients, to, you know, doing straightforward blood pressure management, to going to Wagga to do training, to, you know, there's so many opportunities in my job for very variety and for interest. I just, I can't speak highly enough of this as a career, it's fantastic. And plus, I think what I also get out of it is knowing that I'm contributing to a community and doing a job that people value. And um, that's really nice because I know that being an extra doctor in town with all the good doctors we have is beneficial. I would love, my passion is rural health, rural proceduralism. So doing things in smaller hospitals that don't have to be done in bigger hospitals. So my passion is seeing a hospital up here doing regular surgical lists keeping obstetrics going and perhaps growing it, using our staff and developing them so we all work together as such a good team. We already do work as a good team, but improving what we can do. So we work as an arm of Wagga with their support. Now that has its challenges, but I'm hoping we can overcome that. And that fits hand in hand with registrar training and encouraging people to come to country areas to do their training so then they can see what a fantastic opportunity it is. So that's my big passion and what I really want to see happen. I want to see my garden looking fantastic. I want to see my children growing up to be active, healthy, um, interested kids who apply themselves and get the best out of the life that they have been given. I want us to be, I want us to be an active family seeking opportunity and doing things together. Keeping my work stimulating, but not having it overtake my life. So that gives me time to do the things that I find rewarding and spend time with my family because sometimes they do suffer because work can slowly encroach on my time. If you wanna do something, just do it. You can do it. And if you can't do it the first way or the traditional way, there's always another way to get around it. So I didn't get into medicine straight up. And for a little while, I guess I had a little bit of a complex about that, thinking, oh, maybe I'm not smart enough. Maybe I'm not clever enough. You know, all these people are so much better at it than I am. I'm from the country. They're from the city. You know, feeling in some way that I was disadvantaged by that. But that's rubbish. I'm really pleased that I actually stuck to my guns and thought I'm going to do it and did it. And I was fortunate I had the support to do that from my family. I had scholarships, you know, I was able to get there. But I think if you really want to do something, find someone who can help you, find a mentor who can encourage you, find ways to do it and just put your head down, do the work and do it. And I think you're, you'll be amazed what you can achieve. I think tomorrow is a great place. I just think it's fabulous. My family loves it. I love it. Even my husband, who's not a local, he really enjoys it. And I think what I like about it is there's such a feeling of can do in town. So people in Tamora don't expect to be given things on a platter. They want something, they work for it. The community pitches in. We've got a wonderful council that supports worthy causes and is happy to put themselves out to say, yes, we can do that. I love Tamora.